Jim here again from IAG. Behind me today, we have our 2021 Ford Bronco 2.7 liter EcoBoost. We bought this vehicle a couple of months ago for product development, but it's in the shop today for a minor maintenance oil change. And we wanted to show you some tips and tricks on how to do the job in case you're looking to do it yourself. But before we get started, let's take a look at our parts and tool list. In front of me is our parts kit that's available on our IAG website that includes seven quarts of oil, filter, and a brand new drain plug. The tools needed to do the job will consist of a 3 8 ratcheting wrench, a pair of pliers, a pick, a half inch ratcheting wrench, a 15 millimeter socket, 3 8 extension, 27 millimeter socket, and a torque wrench. If you're in need of any of these tools, you can click on the link below in the description to get your own. First things first, we always set the e-brake before doing any maintenance. Next, we'll pop the hood. The hood latch is located by your left foot in this position. To open, find the hood latch in the center of the hood and push towards the passenger side. Next, find the hood prop to hold the hood open. Next, we're gonna find the oil cap and remove that. It's always good practice to know that you can fill it before you drain it. To get started, we're gonna remove the four 15 millimeter bolts holding the splash shield on. From the factory, these bolts are equipped with a dab of red Loctite, which makes removing slightly difficult, but it just takes a little bit of effort. With the four bolts removed, you can now remove the shield. Next, find the oil drain plug. It's located right in front of the front cross member and easily identifiable by its yellow color and distinct shape. With a drain pan placed under the vehicle, use a pair of pliers to remove the drain plug and by turning counterclockwise. Allow several minutes for the oil to drain. As you can see, this drain plug is plastic, so we always recommend replacing these with every oil change. Now it's time to install the new drain plug, but before we do that, we're gonna add a dab of oil to the brand new O-ring. The new drain plug can be installed by hand without the use of any tools. Just turn clockwise until you hear the click. With a clean rag, Wipe off any residual left behind. Now you can reinstall the splash shield with the four 15 millimeter bolts. With your 27 millimeter socket, locate your oil filter housing just to the left of your throttle body. Loosen this housing by turning counterclockwise. Now remove the oil filter housing. Have a clean rag handy to minimize mess. Now remove the oil filter. Use another clean rag to remove any residual from the housing. With your new filter handy, open the box, make sure the filter and all the provided O-rings are present. With the help of a pick, remove the three O-rings With a rag, wipe the housing down, then install your three new O-rings.
Before installing the housing, always put a dab of oil on all your brand new O-rings. Now install the new filter onto the housing. Reinstall the filter into the housing. With our torque wrench, tighten the housing to 24 newton meters. Now it's time to add the oil. We use a funnel to help minimize the mess. Remove the funnel and replace the oil cap. It's always good practice to prime the motor before starting. This vehicle is equipped with a feature called flat foot crank. If you depress the brake and the gas all the way down and try to start it, it will not start, it will only crank over. This will help prime the motor before firing. Once the car has primed through a full cycle, you can start normally. Check your dipstick level and add oil if necessary. To set your oil life reminder, Start off by hitting the back button. Scroll down the menu until you find settings, then hit OK. Locate oil life, hit OK. By holding the OK, it will reset your oil life. That completes the oil change on our 2021 Ford Bronco 2.7 liter EcoBoost. For more content just like this one, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to know about new products and maintenance tips just like this one. And as always, thanks for watching.